Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, it's only been like 10-20 seconds since I paused, but I'm passing through that one town that we came in right after we came back from Guarma. And there's a question mark here, so I'm actually kind of curious, like, what's going on here? So we have to go inside this saloon looking place. Come on, Bertram, please! What in the world is that? A no! Bertram, say no! Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. i fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes. And Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Would Everything okay? Bertram like a sherry. Imagine saving people. Taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. Oh, no, huh? no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man. Do something! You'll eat him. Um. Uh. E e e easy there. Uh. Easy there. Sherry. Bertram. Literally fighting a giant. Yeah. Fighting a giant. Oh my God. Oh jeez. Heckin' tootin' common head looking fella. Sheesh. Ouchie. Ouchie. <laughs> oh my God. I'm beating up this giant. I'm like, he's probably like six inches taller than me, but still heckin' huge looking. Strong Bertram got a whoopsie! Lord, did a whoopsie! Bertram did an oopsie. <laughs> oh, man, we're, we're actually going toe to toe with, with this guy. Holy heck. Toe to toe is the only thing we're doing. We can't go nose to nose when he's six inches taller than me. Now he's down and out. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. Oh. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. <laughs> now I have to find Mad. Oh, what in the world? The smell of grease paint. What in the... The smell of grease paint. Two members of a traveling sideshow. Okay, that explains things. Sheesh. I assume 
she said, uh, you'll know him when you see him. I assume he looks either. I don't know. Maybe he's, is he a twin? I don't know. Maybe he's something else. I don't know. Maybe some, maybe he's the exact opposite. Maybe he's like a really tiny guy. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see here later. <laughs> uh, two members of a traveling sideshow, Bertram and Marjorie are found arguing about their disappearance of another member of their troop in the Van Horn saloon. After intervening, a fight breaks out with Bertram. And of course he apologized afterwards. What? Where are these where were these people during all that? Gentlemen. Hey there. Mister. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Okay. Jeez. Rude. These me? I don't know. Oh, oh now he answers. Okay, let me pick up my Civil War hat. I made the by the way, I made the uh I made like a custom outfit, I think it's I think it's called. So even if I do lose my hat. I can just get it back from my uh, my horse, so that's good to know. If you guys are wondering, oh, uh, if, if, is your hat still like super duper rare or something like that? I'm like, I'm really liking the hat. It's, it's really giving us some character during this like last chapter. I guess you could. I'm like, it literally is the last chapter, as far as I know. I don't know, but during this last chapter, like the Civil War hat, along with Arthur's like dying look that he's got going on, it it, it kind of goes together. Like it's a really good look. Like previously, we, and, and we have the same outfit as the Sand and Meat chapter. Y'all come help out. What in the world? What? This is Murphy. Oh my God, more Murphys. What in the? Ugh, disgusting Murphy creatures. More Murphys. More Murphys. Oh my God. I need to get like a heckin' repeater or something. Run into that guy. Just run into him. Jeez. I need to get my repeater. I'm like I was trying to earlier. Uh, let's get our Lancaster repeater. Some good long range. Got him in the arm. There we go. All right, man. These guys have good money though, so we're gonna need to heck and loot these guys, especially if we're gonna to want to recuperate whatever money we lost. Just giving it to literal. Oh wait, hold on. No, don't, don't take the hat. Loot him. Loot him. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, oh my god. I'm like we're. Oh jeez, what in the world? There we go. Now I can loot him. Sheesh. I'm like we do have the M, M, M F. Is that what that says right there? I guess we can go do the Magnifico thing, go find that guy out in the woods, I... Or... Oh... Yeah, that's gotta be what that is. For a second, I was like, is that MF Murphy? No, I don't think so. Pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure that just showed up because of the Magnifico mission quest thing that we basically just started right there. <laughs> so I guess we can go find him. Just kind of give a heckin' smoke signal, make some racket, bring, uh, Ber Bertram and whatever her name was. And, uh, I guess they'll deal with this Magnifico fellow, so... But anyways, I'm like, look at that, we're getting such, like, good money from these guys. It doesn't make any sense at all, but at the same time it does. Because they heckin' rob people all day and night. Sheesh. Like, at least compared to everyone else we've been encountering during the heckin' prior... What in the priority? Sheesh. <laughs> what am I... I don't even know what I was originally gonna say right there. <laughs> that really put me off right there. <laughs> anyways, let's go find the... Where is this? Is this, like, really far away, or is this, like, nearby? This Magnifica, or, uh, I'm like, it is about the same, I assume we just go there, and, oh my god, he actually is a tiny little fella. What's that? Hold on, I want to look at it. Get rid of the waypoint. Bertram said that Magnifico is camping somewhere in the woods. Yeah, look at that tiny little leprechaun looking fella. Alright, well, let's just turn around, I suppose. Go over to this fella, I guess, just do the, uh, cinematic camera like I was originally going to do before we started the Bertram thing. And I guess we'll go over there. I'm like, he is basically at the same, like, depth or whatever as Sadie Adler's mission. So as soon as we go do this Magnifico thing and basically smoke signal <laughs> to Bertram and them where he's at, then we can just head, like, east or whatever, and then we'll find Sadie Adler and go, you know, save John. So we're going to pause the recording, go down to Magnifico, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, are back. Looks like we found Magnifico's camp. So I guess we'll just go confront him. Oh, there he is right there, laying down. It looks like against a box. Let's go see what he's up to. See what he has to say. Oh my gosh. You just shoot a gun right there? What in the world? Hey there, mister. I can't even talk. Oh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! hey. Are you magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, Marjorie! She cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. 
You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, this Arnold, come it. back here. Oh my god, he acting disappeared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chase after Magnifico. Alright, I guess I have to go. Let's, oh, jeez, look at him. I can teleport. The wrong end of this. Oh, he, oh my god. Where are you running off? Well, at least he kind of shows off where he is. Where in the world? Where'd he go? I did. Oh, jeez. Hey, will you talk? I'm going to Damn. He's actually teleporting. Oh my gosh. I thought he was just smoke. Like, he's legitimately, like, going from point A to point B. You're starting to irritate me. Oh, jeez. I have to search the smoke. What the hell are you pulling here? Which one? You're here. I'm going to find you. <coughs> oh, yeah. Very clever. That one left. Oh, <coughs> that's a neat trick. Where'd he go? Oh, jeez. It's Popskula! Oh. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know this was like a thing. I'm loving these like side missions. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! Now where you gone? Uh oh. Where could he have gone? In the trees? Oh jeez, is that him? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. He's gotta be in a tree. I don't know where he is. What is that? Oh, that was a dead body right there. Uh, is that him up there? Up there? Oh, that's like a creature. Over here, dummy! Oh my gosh. Where is he? In the tree. I thought I was looking in that tree. I didn't see him there. Oh, there he is. I see him now. Want to see a trick? <laughs> that didn't work. Hey there, mister. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Oh my gosh. Ah, so it. long, dummy. What am I doing? Get away from the heckin' dog. Oh, Jesus. Where are you? He exploded. Oh my gosh. You really? Is there three of them now? What in the? <laughs> Too bad about that train. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Is he going to get on? He's going to get on the train. There he is. Get on the train. Or is he on the other side of the train? Oh, he's got to be on the other side of the train. Oh, yep. Oh. Damn it. Ah! Oh, but boys! Oh no! 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 Flynn! Oh, 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 oh no! I can't get away! Oh, oh, put me Wait, down! I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram! You got Dummy over there! Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, you dimwit! You sold me out! You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy! Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Be I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! 
No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Oh, can I get that rabbit now? Did he just pull that rabbit out of thin air earlier? I think he did. Where is it? Oh, it's gone. <gasps> Poof, it's gone. What in the world? Why is my temporary horse here now? What in the world was that? Oh, is this even mine? Hold on. Oh, it is. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why is my temper? <laughs> it's just randomly over here now. Jeez. All right, well, I guess we'll just go on over here to Sadie Adler. I assume she's got a boat for us. And we're just going to go rescue John, break him out of jail. And then after that, perhaps go heck and watch the hanging, hangification of Colmo Driscoll or something like that. I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing that with uh, Sadie Adler, I think. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. But anyways. Yep, there she is right there. She's got a boat. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's going to be... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll land the boat in the morning. When the prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot. Look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? The... Well, hopefully everything goes to plan here. Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh, stay down. Let's head for that watch. Oh man, what guns do I have? Bolt action. Uh, I don't know why. I probably gave it to me just automatically. Get the bolt action just to kind of snipe them down if I need to. Stay low and stay behind Sadie Adler. It's kind of crazy. She's basically the leader now. The unofficial leader of the gang. Unless she basically was while we are gone. Are we going to sneak up behind him? I kind of want to do like a tomahawk to him. Just kind of a silent kill. Too bad I don't have my bow and arrow. Oh man, there's... Get over here. There's a gun up there too, apparently. I want to see what gun that is. There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. Okay. I'll follow you up. Yeah, take out the guard. Let's get a, uh... Actually, hold on. What do we have here? Cleaver, machete, hatchet, light. Let's get the cleaver. There you go. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I can get the machete out like we're Jason or something. Let's just climb up the ladder and take this fella out with the cleaver. Are you dealing with him or not? I will be. Just doing it silently. Uh, is he on the other side of this ladder? Oh, he is. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Rolling block. Uh, probably dropped the bolt action for that. Alright. <laughs> There's John. Look for John. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was so bad. Oh, 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 here we go. Is he over here? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Maybe get the one on the horse, and then the guys probably take care of the one on foot. Nice. Got him. There's one down there. 
Did I get the guard or someone else? I don't remember. I don't know. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Uh oh. Well, I'm going to get the bolt action back just because I'm like, hey, why not, right? I don't remember if I ever uh, improved the bolt action. I don't know if that's like a special uh, gun up there either, but at least I obtained it, so if it is special, then I... What are you doing back there? I'm coming! I'm coming! I had to come down the ladder after you, sheesh. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the Lancaster out, just because it's got better, uh... Better ammunition. Let's right, head up. Stay down. Are we staying down, or just... No, we're just straight running. I don't even think we can run. Come on, Arthur! Let's keep moving! Where is he? You see him? No! You! <laughs> Mister... You know John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marsden? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Now, where'd I get this Oh, one? no, you don't. Look at that. Sadie Adler being intimidating to a guard. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Oh. Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Oh, there's a... Looks like I saw someone there to the right. I don't know if we're gonna get into there. Come on. Please. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yep. You wanna take him out from afar? Cause there's a... yeah, there's a guy up there. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Well, let's go. Don't shoot! Man, these guys are weak. Bastard. <laughs> okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Who's hacking cannons up there? Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One. Two. Three! Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, so? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. The 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I guess I have to take out his friends now. Clear out the guards up there. Try and take the initial ones out. 
I don't know why I keep marking him multiple times. Uh, marking multiple, multiple times when I'm not hitting him in the head. Just kind of ensure that we do take him out. There we go. There we go, we got him in the head. Yeah, I'm liking the repeater way better than like the bolt action. Oh, 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 oh. Front gate. Oh my god. Can I get a heckin' fire bottle or something crazy? Oh! Holy! <laughs> Look at that guy going crazy! I'm like, he is on fire! Where's Milliken at? Hold on, where is he though? Because <laughs> if I killed him, that would have been crazy. Alright, let's go, let's go. There's like one guy left, but it is what. Ah, you know what? Can I take care of him now? Might as well take care of him. I can. Is he down? Oh, there we go. Now he's going to go down. There we go. Now, now. Just in case we need to kill every one of them, right? Here comes some more. Get down. Oh, never mind. Looks like we still have more. You're telling me. Let's reload. Get a couple more. I'll explain later. Was that you in the balloon? Yeah. Believe me, that was my. What? Oh, did John just get killed or something? Or did I kill Milliken? Sadie died. That's not my problem. Jeez, it's her fault. <laughs> Uh, how did you die there, Sadie? Okay, today's your lucky day! Let's go! Yeah, whatever happened to this guy, I need to watch him. Oh, he's watching, like, straight in. Alright, yeah, forget about the pistol. Forget about the pistol. Oh my god, why can't I aim? Aim! What are you doing, Arthur? What in the world? Am I, like, on top of a box? What am I doing? Jeez! <laughs> There we go, got him. Oh! I don't know where that Milliken guy is, he's like straight gone. Where does that guy go? Where did that guy go? He didn't get killed. Reload time! Let's cover while they move. Got him down in the head. There's a couple more guys coming out the front, let's get him. Oh, not like that. There we go, got him. At least one hit there. Let's try and get, uh, bolt time. Nah. I guess we'll use the shoal field. Yeah, where do I even get the heckin' pistol from? I don't know how I get that pistol. That I was using to, like, hold up that mill Milliken or whatever that guy's name was. Alright, let's follow him now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If I want to eat a piece of meat or something like that, get my cores up. Yep. Yeah, don't die there, Sadie Adler. Can I eat? There we go. I'm like, I've got a bunch of food, might as well use it, right? There we go. I'll explain later! That should get my dead eye up, like, significantly. Why can't I aim? Jeez! Why? I don't know why I couldn't aim there. Was I still eating? Did Sadie die again? Or did I Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I was technically still eating there, so that kind of sucks. Golly, why am I failing so much on this? Today's your lucky day! There's no way I'm getting, like, gold or anything like that for this. Sheesh. I wonder if I could actually kill that guy, though. Get some cover. At least I'm able to aim this time. Wasn't able to do it last time. I'm hitting like the guardrail. There you go. There you go, guy in. I'm getting these guys like almost always in the head now. That's crazy good. I didn't get him in the head though, because he's still. Oh, now I did. Get the ones in the front gate though. Let's get them. With some dead eye. Just because it's going to be easier. There you go. Oh, I think we got. Oh, there's still one guy to the right I didn't get. I don't know. I could probably fireball roll that guy to the right. See if we can do that. Just kind of get some splash. I don't know if I got him there. Oh! Don't hit him twice in the head. There we go. Got him. There's one more guy up there somewhere. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, man! I'm like, I do need to eat. My health core is halfway. There we go. Oh, can I heckin'... Yeah, sure, eat, eat a corned beef. It doesn't matter if we take some stuff. Like, I kind of want to use a fire bottle once they get close to us. Oh, man. Let's get these guys. Oh, my God. I can't hit. There we go. Oh! Getting these guys, like, in the shoulder and stuff, it's not too good. Oh, man. There's a guy that run to left. There we go. I think I hit the thing there. I think I hit the bridge. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, wait, we, oh, I hit the bridge again, I think. 
Yeah, I'm hitting, I'm hitting it. You can see the sparks coming out. Yeah. Me, there you go. Time time to go. Oh, there's a guy there to the right. Got him. Alright, they're going. Am I covering them still? If I am, then I... Can I not... Oh, I guess I can't... Can I not... Did I? What in the... Hold on. Fireball to time! Oh! Oh! There we go! Holy heck. Get these heck and get the guy to the right. Get the guys over here as they recover from the fire bottle craziness. <laughs> I have no more dead eyes, so... Oh! There we go. Holy heck! Oh, jeez. Get some cover. Get some cover. There we go. Gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. They, they've gone back. This one last guy. Oh. Um, kind of want to get some healings, but oh jeez, there we go. Got one guy. Getting some pretty good uh moving target stuff. Is that the guy? Did I kill him? Ah, uh, whoops. Now he's dead. How am I getting these? I'm like I do have auto aim, right? So <laughs> there we go. I'm like it's so foggy you can't even see. But yeah, I'm still hitting these guys. That's great. Kind of want to get uh let's get a let's see. I don't know. Cook plain venison, sure. Behind us. Just kind of keep Start that up. Some cover. Yeah, there's cover like right in front of us. <laughs> Coincidentally enough. Oh man, I need cover. Oh, well, there's some cover right there. Alright, let's try and get these fellers. Oh, geez, they're off to the right. They're on horses still. There we go, we got one hit there. Oh, got him a couple times on the shoulder. Might be able to take him out. Yep, he's out. Sheesh. Man, the sound effects whenever we hit him is just crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, get him. I don't know if I, that'll get him. I got him in the chest. I don't know if I'll take him out, though. Follow me. What? Get down. Hold him up so we can get to the boat. All right, well, they're getting... Oh, um, I don't want to use that. Uh, sure, there you go. Whoops, I didn't need to do that. Well, they're... Uh, man, I'm... Uh, yeah, oh, I guess I can't get anything from that. Let's go. I'm getting shot from someone. I was trying to retaliate, but... I, what was that? What is that? Jeez, we're getting hit. Oh my god, I actually am getting hit. Holy heck, let's get some help. Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Alright, we're doing good. I'm like, our core is full, but just the little little thing around it's not doing too well. Man, I'm getting murdered. <laughs> Golly, let's just make a run for it. Straight. Toy the boat. Is it still docked or... Oh, there it is right there. Nice. Actually, has some good shots there at the very end. I don't know how they didn't do that at first. You always seem to need rescue in Marston. <sighs> Nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them and can still handle it. Thanks. Yep. Savage. Casual savagery. Oh, my God. There you go. you down. Nice little rhyme you did right there. You trying to become a rapper? Actually doing a decent job. I actually almost one shot at every single one of them. I think I did, but missed once. <laughs> Looks like we made it across. That's good. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Mm -hmm. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. Artie McMorgan. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea. That still don't seem real, somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? 
Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. <laughs> it's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Yep, not neither of us. It's actually Micah. His right-hand man, as I've been calling him lately. 